In this video, we'll look at construction planes. Construction planes are objects you create to help you sketch more precisely. For example, the offset plane. Select the plane I want to offset and then drag it or type the amount that I want to offset. And then if I want to sketch something that is that precise distance from here, I can. Now note when I make a construction plane, I get a folder here and then the planes will show up there. Let's look at plane at angle. I can create a construction plane through an edge or a sketch line or an axis. So I'll select this edge and then choose the angle I want. Now I can sketch on this at that precise angle. I can always turn off the planes instead of deleting them just by clicking the light bulb. With the tangent plane, I can create a plane that is tangent to a cylinder. I can create a midplane by selecting the two planes that I want the construction plane to be in between. And there it is. If I want to edit any of these planes, I need to select them, right click, and then choose Edit Feature. Then I can edit it but know that I can only edit its original feature, meaning that if this is a tangent to a cylinder plane, that's the only thing I can do with it. I can't turn it into an angled plane. I can go back to this angled plane, edit feature, and I can change the angle but I can't do anything else with it. For example, I can't make it tangent to a cylinder. There are a lot of options for creating axes at different locations. I like this one, point through two edges. When I select that, I click two edges, and then I get a point right between them. And that way, if I wanted to draw a line at that exact location, I can do so. So make use of construction planes to help you sketch accurately.